So another very important concept to grasp with uh, using delegates is uh, adding delegates to an invocation list and being able to link them by them being an invocation list like I discussed earlier. Uh, so this is achieved using a plus equal operator and this is where a lot of confusion when I would first see the events I wouldn't realize what the heck why does it have a plus equal so as soon as I'd see this I'd be like confused I didn't really know what was going on so using this plus or equal operator we're able to uh, link these and add them into the invocation list. And this is going to be very important once we start using the events. So also once I went through this uh, module I was able to debunk the question I had earlier whether the delegate and their methods that they're calling had to have the same return type and this is definitely a yes because if we change the delegate from void to for example uh, integer we need to change all of our handler methods to integer as well and give them a return type and also once we do this only the last one of the handler methods will be able to return the value so let's go ahead and just do this in a code show the example So I'll start from the from the scratch here, and I f I'll first go ahead and declare a delegate here. So declaring a delegate first using delegate keyword, just as a quick review, and then go ahead and new up three delegates from our delegate here, delegate one, two, and three, each calling its own uh, handler method. Here we have a handler method for each one. And now how do we go about running all, all three? How do we link them? How do we add them to invocation list? So one of the ways you can do it is saying delegate one, go ahead and add delegate two to it, and then delegate one, also add delegate 3 and then we can go ahead and run delegate 1 and send some values and when we run this we see that we are running all 3 which is that's what we want to do So, I mean, to streamline this, if we try to say, you know, using the regular syntax here, like syntax that kind of makes, seems like it makes more sense, we just say delegate 1, add delegate 2 and 3. If we try to do it this way, we'll notice that, uh, let's see what's going to happen. We're only going to have 2 and 3 because one is not going to be included if we do it in this manner so this is where the syntax goes with the plus and equal the confusing one for somebody who is looking at this for the first time so here we go plus and equal syntax now this allows us to link one two and three together so let's see what happens when we try to run this and we can see when we run this we got all three now so this basic little thing right here is the big secret behind multi you know running multicast delegates and also it's going to be very something that's going to be used very commonly with the events and another really important thing to note here that I mentioned when I was showing you this is to realize that if if we return from these methods only the last one will be able to return the value 
So let's just do the quick demo of that. So I added the return type to the delegate up here to int and then I added which you know because I had to add integer to each one here the return type and I'm returning hours that we pass in plus one two and three assigning that to integer here and then just write I'm just writing it out and I'm getting 13 which means that uh, I can only return the value it's only going to return the value from the last one I'm not sure maybe later there will be some way to do something different with the events where you can return multiples and do something with them but for now this is only we can only return the last one <coughs>